Pheasants are birds of several genera within the subfamily Phasianinae of the family Phasianidae in the order Galliformes. Though they can be found world over in introduced populations, the pheasant genera native range is restricted to Asia. They are characterized by strong sexual dimorphism, males being highly decorated with bright colors and adornments, such as wattles. With over 35 species of pheasant belonging to 11 genera, here are the 10 most beautiful pheasants in the world. Number 10. The Kalij pheasant is found in forests and thickets, especially in the Himalayan foothills, from Pakistan to western Thailand. The male can grow up to 74 centimeters, 29 inches, while the female can grow up to 60 centimeters, 24 inches in length. It is generally common and widespread, though three of its eastern subspecies are considered threatened. Closely related to the silver pheasant, the males are rather variable depending on the subspecies involved, but all have an at least partially glossy bluish-black plumage, while females are overall brownish. Both sexes have a bare red face and grayish legs. Number 9. Mrs. Hume's pheasant, also known as Hume's pheasant or bar-tailed pheasant, is a rare and little-known pheasant that can be found throughout forested habitats in China, India, Burma, and Thailand. It is a large-sized bird, where the male can grow up to 90 centimeters, 35 inches, and female growing up to 60 centimeters, 24 inches in length. The name Mrs. Hume's pheasant commemorates Mary Ann Grindle Hume, wife of the British naturalist in India, Alan Octavian Hume. The male's plumage is chestnut brown, and his head is grayish brown, with red facial skin and yellowish bill. His irises are brownish orange in color, his wing bars are white, and the neck feathers are blue metallic. The male has a long grayish white, barred black and brown tail. Meanwhile, the hen's plumage is also chestnut brown, and she has a whitish throat, a buff color belly, and white tipped tail. Number 8. The Green Pheasant, also known as Japanese Green Pheasant, is an omnivorous bird native to the Japanese archipelago. This pheasant prefer grassy, bushy areas and light forest areas near cultivated lands and meadows. It often frequents farmlands and human settlements. The male's mantle is green with a few small buff on its lower part. The crown, nape, back, and rump is dark metallic green, much tinged with olive or bluish gray. The neck is purplish violet, wing coverts bluish gray, rump and upper tail coverts greenish gray, tail green with purple. The beak is yellowish colored and their legs and feet are blackish. The female is smaller than the male with a shorter tail and has brownish-black colored plumage, with dark brown feather fringed pale brown. Number 7. Also known as Dyard's Fireback, the Siamese Fireback is a fairly large, approximately 80 centimeter, 34 inch long pheasant. This pheasant is distributed to the lowland and evergreen forests of Cambodia, Laos, Thailand, and Vietnam in Southeast Asia. Their preferred habitat includes very dense evergreen, semi-evergreen and bamboo forest areas, secondary growth and scrub in the plains and foothills up to 800 meters, 2,600 feet. The striking male Siamese fireback is most notable for its unusually long crest of purple-black feathers, which reaches up to 9 centimeters, 3.5 inches in length, and becomes erect when the bird is excited. The facial wattles are bright red. The throat, head, and face behind the wattles are black. The breast, neck, and upper back is gray, with very fine vermiculations. The middle of the back is bright yellow. The lower back is metallic blue with chestnut fringes. The tail is long and curved with metallic black, blue, and green sheens. The wings are gray with black and white streaks, whereas the belly and lower areas are black. Number 6. The blood pheasant, a relatively small, short-tailed pheasant, is widespread and fairly common in eastern Himalayas, ranging across India, Nepal, Bhutan, China, and northern Myanmar. Blood pheasants have the size of a small fowl, about 43 centimeters, 17 inches in length, with a short, convex, very strong black bill, feathered between bill and eye, and a small crest of various colored feathers. 
The color of the plumage above is dark ash, with white shafts. The coverts of the wings, various tinges with green, with broad strokes of white through the length of each feather. The feathers of the chin, deep crimson. On the breast, belly, and sides, feathers are lance-shaped, of various length. The tips green with crimson margins, collectively resembling dashes of blood scattered on the breast and belly. The tail consists of 12 sub-equal feathers, shafts white, rounded, the ends whitish. The coverts are rich crimson red. Both males and females have red feet and a distinct ring of bare skin around the eye that typically is crimson colored. Number five, endemic to the Philippines, the Palawan peacock pheasant is found in the humid forests of Palawan Island in the southern part of the Philippine archipelago. The adult male is the most peacock-like member of its genus in appearance. It has an erectile crest and highly iridescent electric blue-violet metallic green turquoise dorsal plumage. Its breast and ventral regions are dark black. The retrices are wide, flat, and rigid. Their thermal edges are squared. Each tail plume and upper tail covert is marked with highly iridescent light reflective ocelli. The tail is erected and expanded laterally together with the bodies of the bird. The males also raise one wing and lower the other, laterally compressing the body during pair bonding, courtship displays as well, and may also be anti-predator adaptation. Number four, Swinho's pheasant, also known as the Taiwan blue pheasant, can be found in the mountains of central Taiwan, where it lives in primary broadleaf forests up to 2,300 meters, 7,500 feet in elevation. The bird was named after the British naturalist Robert Swinho, who first described the species in 1862. Locally, the species is known in Mandarin as Lanfuxian, blue-breasted Kalij, and in Taiwanese, Hokien as Wako, flowered fowl. The male swin hose pheasant can grow up to 79 centimeters, 31 inches. He has a glossy blue-purple chest, belly, and rump, white nape, red wattles, white tail feathers, and a white crest. The female is brown, marked with yellow arrow-shaped spots and complex barring patterns, and has maroon outer rectrices. Swin hose pheasants can be distinguished from the Mikado pheasant by having red legs. Number three, the Lady Amherst's pheasant is native to southwestern China and far northern Myanmar, but has been introduced elsewhere. This pheasant was named so in order to commemorate Sarah Amherst, wife of William Pitt Amherst, Governor General of Bengal, who was responsible for sending the first specimen of the bird to London in 1828. The adult male is 100 to 120 centimeters, 23 inches in length, its tail accounting for 80 centimeters of the total length. It is unmistakable with its neutral cape white black with a red crest. The long gray tail and rump is red, blue, dark green, white, and yellow plumage. This species is closely related to the golden pheasant, but has a yellow eye, blue-green bare skin around it. The female is much less showy, with a duller mottled brown plumage all over, similar to that of the female common pheasant, but with finer barring. Number two, the Himalayan monal is ranging from Afghanistan and Pakistan through the Himalayas in India, Nepal, southern Tibet, and Bhutan. It lives in upper temperate oak conifer forests interspersed with open grassy slopes, cliffs, and alpine meadows between 2,400 and 4,500 meters. It is a relatively large-sized pheasant, about 70 centimeters, 28 inches long. The adult male has multicolored plumage throughout, while the female, as in other pheasants, is more subdued in color. Notable features in the male include a long, metallic green crest, coppery feathers on the back and neck, and a prominent white rump that is most visible when the bird is in flight. The tail feathers of the male are uniformly rufous, becoming darker towards the tips. Number one, the golden pheasant is native to forests in mountainous areas of Western China, but feral populations have been established in several parts of the world. This bird is shy and surprisingly difficult to find in mixed and conifer woodland, where it runs quickly from detected disturbance. 
The adult male is 90 to 105 centimeters, 35 to 41 inches in length, its tail accounting for two-thirds of the total length. It is unmistakable with its golden crest and rump and bright red body. The deep orange cape can be spread in display, appearing as an alternating black and orange fan that covers all of the face except its bright yellow eye with a pinpoint black pupil. The female is much less showy with a duller mottled brown plumage similar to that of the female common pheasant.